Victoria lawyer Doug Christie has died. He was 66. Christie rose to national prominence representing unpopular clients such as Holocaust denier Ernst Zundel. Christie believed in the importance of defending free speech even if, or especially if, he didn't like what was being said. His friends and his peers say Doug Christie was misunderstood and will be deeply missed. CTV's Andrew Johnson reports. If you wish. Are you a man who wants to break up Canada? Yes or no? Canada's broken up. Give me a yes or no. You're a lawyer. It's yes, a perfectly I, fair question. I deserve the right to answer it in the best way I can. Well, Doug Christie was a man prepared to fight for what he believed in. He was the vocal leader of the separatist Western Canada Concept Party. Free the web! Fellow lawyers say he was willing to represent almost any client to protect their right to freedom of speech and expression. He defended the despised, including Holocaust denier Ernst Zundel. Mr. Zundel uh, is not as bad as he's been painted. And former Nazi prison guard Michael Seifert. Christie was criticized for promoting the right to hate. His supporters say that's not fair. For, for defending unpopular speech, uh, he, is, he uh, became far more controversial and in some areas reviled than if he defended murders. I mean, no, nobody holds it against the uh, lawyers who defended Paul Bernardo. In Victoria, the home of Christie's practice for decades was this tiny office across from the courthouse where Barclay Johnson now sits. Johnson worked side by side with Christie and grew to admire a man he doesn't think the public knows. When I met Doug Christie, he was com the complete opposite of what I was told to expect. Uh, he was a very caring um, libertarian, stuck up for the rights of just about everybody. Christie had also earned the respect of his opponents. He was a fierce competitor. Uh, every time you went into court with uh, Doug on the other side, you had to have your tackle in order. Johnson says Christie's legacy extends far beyond Vancouver Island. I've always sort of compared him to a, a giant sequoia, you know, where his roots are deep and, and the shadows right across the country. And we've lost a giant. We really have. Christie was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2011 and died yesterday of liver disease. He was surrounded by his wife and kids. His family says he wanted you to remember this. Freedom of speech is the one thing you have to give to your worst enemies if you wish to keep it for yourself. Andrew Johnson, CTV News, Victoria.